Hi everyone, in this video we will complete our program to get user entry based on the menu we display and then we'll use switch statements and method to make the menu work. So I'm going to start off by creating an instance of a scanner. Uh, can't type today. And this is indicating the entry is coming from user's keyboard. And I'm going to also, if I put the mouse over it, I could import my scanner from Java Utility. Okay, next I'm going to declare two double values. Since we are performing math operations, this could be an integer, but let's make ours a double just to give the user the option to see or perform uh, calculations with decimal points. Okay, next I'm going to ask the user to enter the value for the first first number. I might not want to have a print line afterwards. Oh, I don't know what happened there. But enter first number. So our first number is going to be input next double from uh, the uh, from the uh, the reference of our scanner so we are just accessing the next double method from our reference which is from the scanner class now if you are working with strings it is a better practice to actually um, get this entry as a next line as a string and then parsing that into double but since we are only working with numbers so this is going to be okay all right, so that's what we have. I'm just going to run the program. It's going to get two numbers from the user, but nothing will happen. So then it will display the menu and that's pretty much it. It'd be good to have um, something like a colon just to separate user's entry, having some sort of a space there. Okay, okay. So next what we wanna do is um, based on the input that the user puts in for the menu, we will call methods. So instead of using if statements, I'm going to show you how we can use this with switch. So I'm going to declare um, an integer value because those are just integers um, of user, user choice. Okay, so then based on user's choice, I'm going to now um, call um, use switch okay so switch is um, a small just all small letters and then what we do is based on the user's choice uh, but by the way user choice is not assigned so um, I'm going to um, work on that so maybe we should do that first before we move on with the switch. But then based on, so this is like saying, um, you know, if user's choice is one, but we do uh, case, we do this by cases. So case one, okay. And then here we do some work and then break, okay. And we do the same for the others and so on, case two. So. In our case, we need six cases, one to deal with each option. Okay, but let's first work with um, our user choice. How do we initialize this? So we kind of want to know what user puts in. So here it's printing out just a menu. But what we can do is make this return um, the value that the user puts in. So it could be something like, um, uh, yeah, we can make this, I could do um, something like display, um, make this return a an integer. Okay, so what I can do is I can actually ask the user to enter a value from here. So I could say, uh, return um, input dot next integer but you'll notice that the program is complaining it doesn't know what um, it doesn't know what input is 
So we actually need to send this across with our method here. So I can send input from here. And then here I'm saying that I am sending input. I'm just declaring the input is of type as scanner. And so that's going to be working. Uh, I need to capture this. So that's where it's going. It's going to go into user choice. So this is going to return user's entry. And I could put this in a variable. So I could do something like integer user choice. And I could say user cho choice is this. And then just return user choice. So that's also another way to do this. It is up to you which one you'd like to, to do. You could, for simplicity reasons, you could just return it this instead. So it is up to you um, to choose. Um, let's just go with this for now. Okay. All right. So now that we have uh, our user choice, it's been defined. Now we could do um, the operations. We can work on the methods. So we can say result of addition is, and then here, I could put this in a method. So I can say add and I'll add those two numbers and second number. Now the program is going to complain because we haven't really defined add. So let's add um, a method for the add. We'll do this below the menu. So just um, by order of when we call and create. So um, when we call and create the methods. So this method is a, a class method and it takes two numbers. So first number and second number. And what it basically does is just returns a double. So it will return, it will return first number plus second number. And that's about it. So let's run this and make sure that it works. So I'm going to put in two and four, oh, sorry, three, and then I'll choose one. So now it gives us that the result of addition is five, which is correct. So we can now go ahead and uh, finish this. So I'm going to be doing the result of um, subtraction. Subtraction is subtract so that's going to be our the name of our method subtract and this will return the minus and so let's run this and make sure that it works as expected so three minus one should be um, two so number two yes so this is the correct result let's move on and do our third case and our third case, so in case user choice, if this is three, then uh, we are performing multiplication. So the result of multiplication is, and I don't think this needs to be a, a capital. So I'll call my method multi multiply. Oh, when I spell it correctly, okay. So multi multiply. And so what I'll do is now I'll create a multiply method. And this returns the multiplication of both numbers. Let's run this and just make sure that we have two times two is four. Good. So now let's work on our fourth case, case number four. And this is going to be the result of our uh, of division. And I call my method divide and we'll create this with the name divide and we will return first number divided by second. So four divided by two. So number four and the division is two. Good. And now let's work on the fifth case which is the uh, power of. 
So the, um, this way I can do first number, first number, and here I can say to the power of, um, and then I can close it, and here I can say second number, the power of second number plus is, and then here, I could call this method, which I have to define, power of. Okay, now I need to define it. And I'll call this same as I did above, power of. Okay, now to do the power of, um, I'm going to use a method from the math class. So to access this, so I need my caps. Okay, so from the math class, I can access the power method or power which does um, so it stands for power and I just need to put in this value so the first number to the power of the second number so it does the work for me and let me let me run this and make sure so for example three to the power of three so number five is um, 27 okay and so that is correct and the last option would be a quit so that's going to be case number six case number six so i could just say thank you and goodbye and maybe some exclamation mark so number six thank you and goodbye okay so that's it that's it for this video in the next video i'll show you what happens when we remove the breaks and why these are necessary we'll also introduce a, a another optional one called default um, a default keyword okay so stay tuned and i'll see you in the next one